Hello children. Today we will continue our lesson 11 which is about our solar system. In the previous video I told you about the sun and eight planets. Children, when I was in school I was taught about solar system that it has one sun and nine planets and the ninth planet was Pluto. But now we talk about only eight planets which does not include the Pluto. So let's find out what happened to Pluto, why it is not a planet anymore. Children, Pluto was discovered by Clyde Tombaugh in 1930. It is not considered the planet anymore because in 2006, astronomers of IAU gave a new definition of planet to the world. According to new definition, a planet is a celestial body which is in orbit around the sun, is spherical in shape and it has cleared the neighborhood around its orbit. What does this mean? It basically means that using its gravity, a planet should have removed asteroids and dwarf planets out of its path and thus cleared its neighborhood. Now, Pluto is in orbit around the sun and is spherical in shape. But since Pluto's neighborhood has many other objects and it has not cleared its neighborhood, so it is not called a planet anymore. This is called a dwarf planet now. We therefore now talk of only eight planets. After the planets, now we will talk about satellites. Children, a satellite is a object, a small object which revolves around a much larger object. We usually talk of the satellites of the planets in the solar family. Following man's recent inventions, we now talk of two types of satellites, natural satellites and artificial, that means man-made satellites. Firstly, we will discuss about natural satellites. Natural satellites are celestial bodies which revolve around a planet. These are known as natural satellites of that planet. Aisi celestial bodies jo kisi planet ke charon or revolve karte hain, chakar lagate hain, wo us planet ke natural satellites kehlate hain. Our earth has only one natural satellite, the moon. Some of other planets of our solar system have more than one natural satellite. Saturn and Jupiter are known to have a very large number of satellites or we can say moons which revolve around them. Here we will talk about the natural satellite of Earth, the moon, which is our nearest neighbor in space. Moon is a non-luminous object. This means it does not have its own light. It only reflects a part of the sunlight which it receives from the sun. It revolves around the earth in a definite path and takes nearly 28 days to complete one revolution around the earth. Children, we all observe that the everyday shape and size of the moon appears to change gradually. This is because of the changes in the relative position of the earth and the moon with respect to sun. The different appearances of moon on different days are known as the phases of moon. These phases include completely dark phase which is called Amavas or New Moon Day, a complete bright phase, Purnima or Full Moon Day. These two phases of moon are separated by nearly 15 days. Children, Indians have always been fascinated by moon from very ancient times. 
बचपन में आपने भी तो चंदा मामा की कितनी कहानियाँ कितनी ही कविताएं सुनी होंगी आपका भी मन किया होगा कि चंदा मामा के बारे में कुछ और जाना जाए इन ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी इंडिया लॉन्च इट्स ल्यूनर प्रोब चंद्रयान वन एंड इट वॉज लॉन्च बाय इसरो इंडियन स्पेस रिसर्च ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन अक्टूबर टू चंद्रयान टू वॉज लॉन्च ऑन जुलाई टू एंड इट वॉज द मोस्ट कॉम्प्लेक्स मिशन ever attempted by indian space research organization now india is gearing up to launch chandrayaan 3 by early 2021 this mission will conduct new experiments to study the moon surface now children we will talk about artificial satellites these are man made objects which can be made to revolve around the earth they are however much closer to the earth than the moon artificial satellites perform various tasks they are used in communication for transmitting radio telephone and television signals they are also used for weather forecasting and remote sensing artificial satellites are also being used to collect information about the other planets and the stars india launched its first artificial satellite named aryabhat in 1975 india has launched 118 satellites till date of many types since its first attempt in 1975 rohini apple insat usat cartosat ims1 chandrayaan 1 Gsat 4, Juno, Saral are some of the other Indian satellites. Do you know, children, the satellites that now make it possible to have a live view of an event in any part of the world are very special satellites. They take as much time to complete one orbit around the Earth as the time taken by the Earth to complete one rotation on its axis. scientists refer to them as geostationary satellites world ke kisi bhi hisse mein koi event ho raha hai usko live dekhne ke liye ye satellites hame help karte hain ye ek orbit complete karne mein utna hi time lete hain jitna earth apne axis ke charon or rotate karne mein leti hai aur ye kehlate hain geostationary satellites So children this was all from my side thanks for watching have a good day